Hi guys, it's Michaela. Uh, today I just wanted to do a video kind of explaining some of my pregnancy symptoms before my missed period. Uh, but before I get into this, I just want to note a disclaimer that these are symptoms that are personal to me. Uh, you may not have hardly any of these symptoms, or you may have all of them, or you may have more than I have. But this is just everything that I have experienced in relation to my current pregnancy, not necessarily all of my pregnancies. Um, but before we get into it, um, I'm not a doctor. Uh, go, if you are feeling like you might be pregnant, you're probably going to have to do that. Wait until you miss your period, go check your OB, and if you are concerned, just go check with your doctor. Um, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And let's just go ahead and get started. Um, this pregnancy, I had a lot of symptoms before my missed period in that two week wait. Um, I have in my previous pregnancy had symptoms and I also have had them be a lot more dual in past pregnancies. So each pregnancy is going to be different. Um, I've got a list right here um, that I will probably be glancing down at. But I feel like with this pregnancy I just I knew I was pregnant. I knew that it was possible that I was conceiving and I just I had a feeling this first one here it's not necessarily related to pregnancy but I had a lot of pregnancy dreams about a month before all right I had to fix our lighting situation anyway but anyway um, I had a lot of pregnancy dreams about a month before I got pregnant um, I am a vivid dreamer so for me that's just I wasn't really surprised although this pregnancy came as a surprise um, but I did experience a lot of pregnancy dreams so I just kinda had a feeling that we were gonna be having another baby this year um, but that kind of aside um, interpret your dreams according to how you do it um, I hope the lighting's okay I'm trying a little bit of a different setup here but um, let's go into this some of these pregnancy symptoms are not so fun, they're not so fun to talk about. If you get a little squirmy, you might want to click off this video. And also, if you are a young person watching this video, you might want to talk to your parents before watching this video. Um, but anyway, let's just go ahead and start with my list here, then I'll kind of move on to some stuff on my phone. This is everything from the time I believe I conceived to the time I found that I was pregnant. So there's about, you know, there, that two to three week kind of like that two week wait sort of period up until I found out um, if you missed my announcement video I'll go ahead and leave it linked down below but um, I actually experienced hemorrhaging hemorrhaging is something I experienced in both of my past pregnancies but I didn't experience it until much later in the pregnancy and I just kind of it just kind of came on I was having a hard couple of days there Another thing I experienced, which I did not experience in my past pregnancies, is a yeast infection. Um, I had gotten one, uh, and I didn't want to do anything that was kind of, like, that would hurt the baby because I had a feeling I was pregnant, so I was very careful with how I managed that. And I actually just, what I did was I took the packets from the yeast infection box, and I just put on the anti-H cream, and that's pretty much what took care of it until I was able to find out for sure whether or not I was pregnant. Um, but anyway, that was just a little at-home remedy that I did. Um, everything I researched said don't, you know, treat a yeast infection without, you know, if you think you're pregnant, you wait till you get to a doctor, things like that. Um, but I had not taken a home, an at-home pregnancy test. I was unable to, you know, know whether or not I was pregnant at that point, but I had a feeling, so I just... If you're concerned, if you think you might be pregnant, the best thing to do is just to be cautious until you know for sure whether or not you are not pregnant. Uh, I had a lot of, of nausea, and I actually recently learned that with my second, I actually threw up um, as one of my earliest pregnancy symptoms. And I had recently watched a video on YouTube that said that it was uh, implantation nausea. So I kind of think that that's what ha was happening again. I got a lot of, of nausea, not to a point of, it's not like the morning sickness that I'm experiencing right now. It's just things kind of made me nauseous. Things kind of made me, you know, I just, little things here and there, you know, um, my increase of s 
sense of smell also started off I started smelling things like I would smell a candle from like the other room um, or being in my parents house I'd smell things from all the way across the house and the other room and things like that like I smelled the candle all the way from the living room that was in the bathroom and for me I'm like okay you know I think that's a symptom here uh, I felt very off very not like myself very much like I just I couldn't put my finger on it I didn't feel like I just I felt like my whole being my whole self was just very off and very out of it and not quite like who I am not like that but just very like kind of out of it kind of just something felt off and I couldn't figure it out like I felt like me but I felt like a little bit off kilter uh, I was fatigue a lot I got tired easier um, I really just found myself wanting to just go to bed and rest earlier in the day versus being able to power through um, a lot of dizziness and lightheadedness again just all that blood rushing to you um, being first pregnant I got you know I had to take things really slow and I have to like be slower to get up um, had to think a little bit before I started doing things I just I got just again feeling off and that business is a part of that um, emotional things would make me cry easier things out of nowhere I was just like getting upset over little stuff like my food not being the way I wanted it or not just upset you know all pregnancy related symptoms but I just felt very just off um, I was short of breath I was out of breath I was just couldn't catch my breath for a good four weeks there that has since eased up, but I'll go ahead and do a separate video on weeks 4 through 8. Um, I do plan on doing monthly updates. Um, yeah, I'm planning on doing monthly updates this time around, but if you guys are wanting a little bit more, just let me know in the comments below, and I will try to incorporate that. Um, anyway, now that I changed the battery out twice, um... Yeah, I will do them more, more frequently if that is what you want. Um, moving on to a couple of other symptoms I had. I had the restless leg syndrome. That was a big teller for me. I always get restless leg syndrome when I'm pregnant. Um, however, in my previous pregnancies, I didn't get them till more towards the end of my pregnancies. And this one I got in the first few weeks. Um, I was very clumsy. I was very, like, I would drop anything and everything that could be dropped. It was dropped. I just, I could not contain the clumsiness. I kind of pair that a lot with the shortness of breath and the dizziness I felt, but I just had a lot of that. Um, and my boobs got fuller. I mean, I, in my previous pregnancies, that's one of those symptoms where my boobs were, got significantly fuller. This time around, I noticed them a little bit, but not like I did in my previous pregnancies. Um, but at this point, that is everything I have experienced so far since finding out I have been pregnant some of these symptoms have eased up some of them have gotten more intense um, but stay tuned because I've got a pregnancy video talking about weeks four through eight coming up I want to say within a couple of days of this video being up but um, yeah thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this video I hope the lighting was okay I'm just wanting to do something different I just wanted to do something different as far as the background goes just trying some other stuff out um, but I, I will get all the kinks worked out. Anyway, um, thank you for watching this video. God bless and bye guys.